vitamin D in the, in the nutritional management of cancer patients and cancer survivors. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, there's much evidence that vitamin D has an important role to play in preventing cancer. But can it help people that have already had cancer or who are being treated for cancer? And the evidence suggests that, yes, it can be very, very helpful. You know, cancer arises when a single cell in the body undergoes some genetic mutations and with the DNA damage, it allows the cell to start multiplying, you know, wildly through the body. But because the cancer cell arose from a normal cell in the body, cancer cells still have many features of normal cells. And one of those features that they often have is that they still have vitamin D receptors. So even cancer cells, if they arose from a tissue that already had a vitamin D receptor, will have vitamin D receptors on it. Now, when vitamin D attaches to the vitamin D receptor, even on a cancer cell, it enters the cancer cell, and the evidence shows that it becomes converted to the most potent form of vitamin D called 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol. And that form of vitamin D then goes right to the genetic material of the cell, and it tells the cell, slow down the rate of cell division. And that, if you can slow down the rate at which cancer cells are dividing, that's a pretty good thing. The other thing it does is it encourages the cell to become more mature or more differentiated. And so it starts to look more like a normal cell and starts to behave more like a normal cell. So it has less malignant behavior and appearance. This actually slows down the, the growth of the tumor and allows your immune cells or even other cancer therapies to kill that cell or that group of cells before they can outpace the treatment, if you will. So animal studies have shown that uh, you know, vitamin D can be helpful in preventing certain cancers and, and, and useful in helping to control them. But recently we now have studies from human investigations showing the same thing. Now remember that vitamin D also improves uh, the modulation of the body's immune system. You need your immune cells to, f to help find cancer cells, hunt them down and kill them. To a large degree, cancer is immune system failure because throughout your entire life you're making cancer cells from time to time and your immune cells are knocking them out. When cancer becomes a clinically uh, uh, significant condition in your body, it's because your immune system failed to identify the cancer cells and kill them. So improving immune system function is another way that vitamin D supplementation is useful in helping to combat cancer once a person has it. So the very, one of the first studies that was done where they used vitamin D in people that had cancer was in patients that men who had prostate cancer that was not being controlled well, the drugs and so on were not controlling it. And so they added vitamin D supplementation. They were able to show a, a gray, much more uh, improved stabilization of the disease and better long-term outcomes for those patients. So it's very important. Uh, many cancer doctors use between 5,000 and 50,000 IUs a day as part of adjunctive nutritional management of cancer, just so you're aware of that. Now, when you're using doses that high, you have to make sure that your, uh, your blood level doesn't go above 250 nanomoles per liter because that would give you vitamin D toxicity. So anytime you're taking vitamin D doses above 2,000 international units, there needs to be physician monitoring of your blood work to make sure you don't go into the toxic range. To understand this better, click on the link below. Read my article called Study Confirms the Value of Vitamin D Supplementation in the Adjunctive Treatment of Prostate Cancer. All the scientific references are there so you know you're getting only evidence-based information on this subject. Now at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review papers, you'll see footage from my live professional seminars, you'll see other downloads and videos and resources I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life and they're all free. So the research review articles that I have, my teaching materials, all have the scientific references in them so you'll see you're getting only sound scientific information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.